we have patterns and we have clips. What's the difference? What's up guys? Barry here. And if it's your first time on the channel, we talk about beat making and music production within the machine. So if that's your thing, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. With that said, in today's video, I'm going to share with you a few tips and tricks on how to finish off your beats using clips within machine. So what are clips? Similar to patterns, clips are the building blocks to your song. They can carry MIDI information to trigger your samples as well as any sorts of audio such as stems or loops. And to further confuse you, patterns can become clips, but clips cannot become patterns. But the main difference is that clips can only be found on the song or arrange page, whereas patterns will live on the arrange page, but as well as on the idea page. All right, so now that we know the difference between patterns and clips, let's jump into machine and put them to use. So here's the beat we'll be finishing off. So the first clip I want to add will be right before the drums hit. It'll be a drum fill leading into the main beat. So all you have to do is double click on the mouse and a one bar clip will appear. From there you can either play in your fill or just draw it in. And as a shortcut tip, if you're drawing in your MIDI notes, the numbers on your keyboard will dictate the value of your grid. Furthermore, holding shift will adjust those values to triplets. If you've ever tried lining up effects and risers using a sampler within patterns, you know how frustrating of a process that is. So I have this riser with a little bit of a tail at the end. With a riser being within the audio module versus a sampler module, I can just double click on the pattern editor for it to appear. And the reason you want it to be an audio module is you can better see the waveform, which allows you to drag and line up that riser perfectly. And as a pro tip, if you press shift plus follow, followed by pad 16, you'll turn off the grid, which will allow you to freely move that waveform. And changing your view to the piano roll will give you an even larger view of the waveform. In addition to one shots, clips also works really well with loops. In fact, I almost prefer it. If you watch my J. Cole video, you know I really like tambourines. So let's add that tambourine loop right before the 808 hits. We'll double click on our arranger, we'll extend it from a one bar loop to a four bar loop, and on our pattern editor, we'll just double click where the tambourine is, and we got a four bar tambourine loop. So I actually want the tambourines to replace the hi hats when the 808 hits, so we'll shift it over four bars. And since the same drum pattern is repeated, if I change one, I change the other. So we can do one of two things. The first thing, we can duplicate it to create a new pattern, but we can also convert it to a clip. So where you would see your scene divisions, you right click and you select convert to clips. And all of the patterns within that scene are now unique clips. And now we can go ahead and remove the hi-hats without altering the original pattern. All right, so we know that patterns or clips are similar yet different. What happens if you put a clip on top of a pattern? Clips trump patterns. So having a clip on top of a pattern, the clip will play. And if there's nothing in the clip, you'll just have silence. In combination with the audio module's time stretching capabilities, creating remixes with acapellas is super easy. So the Migos dropped Cultures 3 a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so we gone. Huh? Stop. And we can use this acapella on top of our beat. But there's a few things that you gotta do and know for this to work. First, you should be in an audio module as it time stretches the acapella to the project's tempo. And for the time stretching to work correctly, you should know the exact tempo of the acapella. Personally, I use mixed in key. From there, all you have to do is draw and drag out your clip in the arrange page and engage your loop within the pattern editor. Yeah, so we gone. Uh, stop. We good. Stop. Chill. We on. Chill. Scale. So knowing the song, I know it's a super long intro. 
so let's make it a bit shorter. And with this in gate mode, we can easily adjust the start and end points of the acapella without going into the sample editor. Lastly, let's give ourselves a two bar intro before we play the final beat. Straining, straining, yeah. Don't nothing get strained but strain it. Don't nothing get strained but strain it. Don't nothing get strained but strain it. You don't get shit straight, you don't strain it. And this thing sit back, be patient. Niggas act like the game went vacant. Niggas act like some been taken. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straining. Been kicking shit, popping out daily. On the island, it's a movie I'm making. I'm kind of the narrows with Robert De Niro. He telling them that you're amazing. Put that shit on. Shit on. Nigga, get shit on. shit on. I bought two whips and I put my bitch on. She put this wrist on. She fat the wrist, said it went put your meal prone. Turn a pandemic into a pandemic. You know that's the shit that we on. Yes, sir. Them niggas gon' pull up and act like this shit is together. Won't fuck with you home. Alright, guys, so that was just a handful of ways you can utilize clips within machine. Down in the comments, let me know how you use clips. And with that said, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And happy beat making. Peace.